Hello, welcome back to lesson number two of module number two. In this module, we're gonna talk about the browser notifications. And to those of you who don't know what is a browser notification, that is like a message that's popping up in the right top of your screen on your computer um, to send you towards your latest Facebook post or show your email that you just received. It's basically just a little pop-up. And if users register to those pop-ups on your website, uh, it's a big win because it means you can grab their attention in another way. I mean, in the end, that's why we do email marketing. That's why we post on Facebook. That's why we reply. That's why we like comments. Uh, we try to grab people's attention. So having this on your website can be a big help uh, to increase conversion and get more profit. So we create a campaign and already filled in a couple of uh, items. So build or you, build or you.com. I want to have it medium sized. Uh, desktop notifications, we're gonna put that in. Get desktop notifications on your desktop when issues are updated. Um, uh, get information when the latest course hits the market. And I will choose an image. I'll choose the, let me check if we have it here. Yes, I'll choose our little logo and accept label, enable notifications. That means that is the button like we have done here. It goes like that. Uh, decline label, no, we don't want the decline label. Okay, done. Campaign added. So now the campaign is added. We can check here the subscribers. We don't have any subscribers. We can get the code over here. And it says here, copy this code to head section of your site. So I'm gonna select it all, I'm gonna copy it. And when I copy it, I'm gonna go to the builder, track and drop builder, my sites. And I will click on edit, open my site, but I already have it open here. So what I do is I will go there, go here, then go to my bookshelf, open my book or my layout, open my layout. And then in this layout, we have all these pages. Now what you can do is you can go into home and make it specifically for home. But I don't want that. I want to make sure that every single page in this layout is covered. So I'm gonna go over here. By the way, here I can upload. I'm not sure this is gonna work. Why don't we have this over there yet? Let's see if we upload this. I'm not 100% sure this will work because normally you need to have a special favor icon image. So let's see. We can change the title. Build all you. So let's do that. We can add descriptions, keywords, which has all to do with SEO and all these things but we're gonna show that later. And here we have our scripts. So there we're gonna paste our first script. We're gonna add some more scripts later. So that's why I'm saying first. In this first script, we edit it, we press save, and we hit save over here. All changes are saved. So let's go back to our builder. Let's go to our website. And normally we should get a message that pops up. Now you're gonna have to test this, you're gonna have to tweak it, you're gonna have to make sure everything works well and is nice. But you get the ID, this is the message that will pop up. I'm gonna have to make a smaller image, a different quality image because this is way too pixely, uh, but this is just for you to show. So I'm gonna press enable notifications. And Normally now it's enabled. So what is this doing now? If I go here and I go to apps, I go to browser notifications. Normally if I check on the subscribers, it says one subscriber, that's awesome. So then I'm gonna say push notification. And I am going to say, I can either send later, make a schedule, but I'm gonna say here, go to TVE community. This is my community I am building to help fellow vegans, because I'm a vegan. Uh, 
uh, to grow their businesses. So I say, uh, go now to grow your sustainable business. I wanna click the logo from the vegan entrepreneur. And I'll say veganfacebook.com. Send. The moment I hit send, watch what happens in the right top of my screen. Bam, there it goes. So I can click on that. And as you can see, you will land on the Facebook page that I'm currently running. And that's how the notifications work. So thank you very much for watching this module and I hope to see you in the next module. Bye-bye.